Hey folks, I wanted to take a look at how to make this animation of some bees. And this is great because it's nice and simple and a good way to learn a few After Effects basics and a couple of tricks. Okay, so let's start by making the background. So I'll create a new composition. I'm going to call this B, B2. And I'll make it uh, HDTV 1080 25 okay and i'll set the duration i'm going to make this 10 seconds long there we go 10 seconds okay first i'm going to start by creating a background layer new solid and pick a nice blue color nice kind of sky blue i'll name this layer sky and also, I may as well lock this because it's going to remain as the background. So I'll just click on the little lock icon to the left of the layer. I'm going to make a new layer. Okay, and I'm going to call this new layer Hills. All right, I'm going to make it a green color. I'm going to call it Hills. Hit OK. So I've got two solids. And this hills I need to cut out. So I'm going to use the pen tool. So I've got this layer highlighted so that the pen tool becomes a mask tool, not a shape tool. And I'm just going to draw. And as I draw, I'll click and hold down the mouse and drag so that I can draw a curved path. I can draw Bezier curves. Okay. I'll click. Here's my hills. And I'll just click around the outside to close this off. All right, there we go. We've got some hills. So next, I'm going to create a sun. And I'm going to use, this time, the shape tool. So I'll make sure I've got no layers selected. And I'm going to go and go into the shape tools here. Pick the ellipse tool. I don't want a stroke. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And as I click on stroke, it'll take me through the stroke options. When I get a red line through that stroke, that's no stroke. And for the fill, we're going to make the sun. So I'll pick a nice yellow. And I'm going to draw a sun. Okay. And I'm going to rename this layer. Hit the return, the enter key there, and rename this sun. All right, so I'm going to just jump forward to two seconds and hit the P key for position. And jump back to the start, and I'm going to go back to my selection tool. The shortcut for that is V. Okay, and grab the sun, drag it down. If I want to keep it straight, I can hold down the shift key. About there. So we've got a sunrise, and I just need to drag, take this layer and drag it behind the hills. There, there's our sun rising. Now I want to make my sun have a bit of a shimmer like this one. So to do that, I'm going to go into the set settings here, open these up, contents. First, I'm going to add zigzag. Okay, and there you can see we get this pointy zigzags. And I'm going to change the size maybe to 10 and maybe the ridges to 20. Okay. Now, on top of that, I want this to wiggle. I'm going to add wiggle paths. Okay. And that will give me a nice shimmering sun. All right. So, all we need now are some bees. So here's a B, drop that in. I'm just going to scale that down. I'll hit the S key. I'm going to have this at say 25%. I'm going to drag old Barry the B here off the screen. Make sure I'm at the start of my timeline. Hit the P key, set a keyframe. Jump to maybe, let's say six seconds. I'm going to drag our friendly Barry the Bee all the way off 
quite far off the other side to leave some space for the baby bees and drag him all the way off there we go now I'd like him to just not be a straight line so about two seconds I'll pull him down there and then just push him up about four seconds so it's not completely straight so he's looking, yeah all right so now we want a family of baby bees so I'm going to drag the bee in again I'm going to rename this hit the return key baby bee all right and I'm going to scale this down let's say to uh, 20 percent we've got a little smaller bee now rather than animate this bee separately it's much easier simply to put it in the right position so I'm going to just move it to the right position I'm going to close these so you can see what I'm going to do in this menu here we've got our parent and link so I'm going to parent the baby bee use the little pick whip here this little spiral drag it to the B so drag it across you can see that blue line that links the baby B to the main B however it's too perfect it needs to just jiggle about a bit as it flies so if I hit the P key I can use the wiggle expression to add a little randomness so I'm going to alt click on the stopwatch for position and if I start typing the word, there it is, wig, there you go, it brings up wiggle, so I can hit return and it'll, After Effects will finish writing the expression for me. And now I need to set a value. So let's try, let's try 530. What this means is that five times per second, it'll wiggle, move position by up to 30 pixels. Okay, so there we go. So it's just jigging about there. All right, if I wanted it faster, I could say make it 1030. There we go. I quite like that. All right. So now we've got one B. Duplicating this is simple. I can just hit Command D or Control D on a PC and move the new B somewhere else. And because I'm duplicating this layer, it will still be parented and it will still have the wiggle. So I can duplicate this numerous times to create a, a whole family of bees. And there we go. You see, um, do you see that? I've just got a little one, just not quite cleared the screen. Okay, all I need to do is if I go to my main B, hit the P key, I can jump to my last keyframe with these little arrows here, it takes me forward and back between keyframes, and then just pull that main B just a little further off the screen, because of course the main B is the B that's pulling all the little Bs along with it. So play that back, and there we have it, happy family of Bs. Thanks for watching.